The 2018 edition of the Commonwealth Games is a little over a month away and we can confirm that Team South Africa will be looking the part both on and off the competition venues in the Gold Coast. On Monday, Sascock along with Team Kit sponsor Lotto unveiled the kit that our athletes in Australia will be donning between the 4th and 15th of April. It was good for us to give it to the athletes themselves with their commission to say to Natalie, the chair of the Athletes Commission, Natalie, go and sit down. We will find the sponsor, you then sit down and then say to them, here we go. This is what we want. And you saw the, the exposure here that that's them. And I think every South African watching this and every South African uh, seeing them in Australia will be able to say, that's us, that's the athletes, they took the decision. For me, it's been quite a process since December specifically. Um, I know for the Athletes Commission as well, and you know, I think coming to this point, showing it off in front of people, a very awesome job uh, actually doing a separate kit launch. Um, you know, we always see the Australians and the Americans having a kit launch, so for us to have it is, is special as well. I think from our Athletes Commission, it was a lot for us to, to actually take on. Um, the designers really, you know, took on our work and, and did a good job, and I think from that perspective, you know, we're proud. So the 2018 kit is all about the athletes. One of those is world champion long jumper Luvo Manyonga. It's hard to believe that this will be his first appearance at the Commonwealth Games. Not many people win Olympic silver and world championship gold before debuting at the Games. Wow, the kit is very great and um, the texture of it is nice and the, the feeling on the body is quite excellent, you know. I think we, we have to go there and show the, the, the world how we made of. We have a very good chance of getting more medals this year because of the, <clears throat> the action that is going on in the country, like each and every sport we're doing so good. So I think that's the, the environment we into is going to make the country proud. Also part of Team South Africa is Anaso Jobodwana, who only recently got the nod to represent the country in Australia. The 25-year-old, soon to be a father, has overcome a lengthy period of niggling injuries and is looking to regain the form that saw him win bronze in the men's 200 metres at the 2015 World Championships. Before the Commonwealth Games start, he has plenty to look forward to on and off the track. I think for me it would be the two meets, the uh, Grand Prix uh, on Thursday, 200, and then uh, the 150 the next week Thursday at, at Tux. Um, and then depending on, you know, if I, if I get to go to witness my son's birth, I might be... Um, I might run at SA's and at SA's I think I'm going to run the 100 um, just to solidify my performance and maybe you know try and win. Uh, I think that will set me up very well for the Commonwealth Games. Found out about it yesterday so I was really happy. Um, now I, I've got something else to look forward to for the season and Commonwealth Games brings a lot of uh, the good guys from Canada, Trinidad so it's going to be a really good challenge but I'm looking forward to it. 50,000 Rand is the prize money for a gold medal, 25,000 for silver and 15,000 for bronze. Team South Africa is out to better their performance from four years ago. The medal tally to beat is 40, 13 of them gold, which in Glasgow was good enough for seventh.